Right, hello everybody, welcome to the, the second round match, round of 32, between Purple Chest's Dwarves and Sea Brawl's Nurgles. Um, so Purple Chest was down by quite a lot of TV. He ended up buying two more reserves to have 13 players. He's induced a wizard and an apothecary. He has about a million guard and uh, a bunch of mighty blow. Sea Brawls only has two core mighties. Oh my god, and he's just lost a he's just lost another warrior. Is it regen? I think that's regen. regen. Yeah. He has yeah. Regen. Um but he's down for this drive at least, isn't he? He's got two claw mighties and only one claw pom, so he's a little bit light for a 2k TV Nurgle team on the kill skills, but it could still be enough. And uh, in the booth with me is Calcium and Muppet Pac-Man. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. We are getting a good LOS hits here. Incredible LOS, isn't it? This is almost made the score guarantee. Like I know it's a bit early <laughs> Get off to say my that, fucking pitch, bro. but it's uh, yeah, instantly going down to nine players is uh, is is really good, isn't it? For, for well, Seabros has to respond with a removal next turn, doesn't he? Really has to. Yeah, he really, I mean, he certainly really wants to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, he's pretty much got the pile on, hasn't he? Like that's that's the big thing now. Like. Obviously, he can't just like you know. He can't just choose to get a cars, but he can certainly choose to pile on, and he probably has to pile on now to try and uh, you know every turn bit pretty much to even the odds, hasn't he? He's got this. Uh, he's got a good player here. He's got a uh, essentially an agility for a seven four four eight player there. Essentially, cause he's got two heads. So that's a pretty great beast man. He's got Pestigore even, um, so you can do a bit of magic with him. But it's rough, isn't it? He doesn't have Palinon, to Palinon's on. Palinon's fine here, isn't it? Because the dwarves, um, Purple Chest decided against taking a bribe. Um, he's got no DP, so I've got no problem with piling on against the dwarves here. Oh yeah, me neither. No, I definitely, I definitely. But you know, like just the, the only thing is the positional cost, isn't it? Um, yeah, you get you get locked, don't you? You're going to get guard locked. PC's yeah. good enough to guard lock. Um, the claw pommer, if that happens. Yeah, that's that's the that's your big problem here, because like you know, if you blitz, the, first of all, the obvious play to blitz is the skillless guy. Um, if you blitz, you know, so like that's good play by PC, isn't it? So if you go for the guy who isn't the obvious one, which would be the better one, uh, with guard, mighty, and stand firm. If you pom him, then suddenly you're between two guards already, and even if you jam in loads of warriors and everything, it's still hard, isn't it, to. Uh, to, you know, to do stuff, but I think he will. I think he probably will. I think he'll jam everyone in and claw pom. Warriors Maybe you good, send the uh, rookie claw might without pom first, and then he gets guard locked, and then the other one's a bit free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still he's still got claw mighties. Like it, yeah. if if the claw pom gets oh god, no, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he's like this. Defensive here. Yeah, I, I think this was the wrong play. I think he had to get rowdy. Get rowdy. I think he had to hit with Pom. Well, this will suit Purple Chest fine, won't it? Yeah. yeah Purple, Purple Chest, Chest will be so isn't, happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. He's not under any threat, is he? No. No, that's pretty Even nice. Even though he failed the ball pick up all the way uh, back here. It's and what else are you going to use those guard stand firms for? You know, that that is exactly... You want your opponent to fail roles, don't you? You want your opponent to sort of waste blocks against those guys and then they're in a position where they can assist some real damage so yeah yep. it was actually a, a long beard a runner um he got he bought a long beard and a runner so he's got the uh and he's got two runners for a quick score um or obviously if he's just down to 10 players at least he has more chance of a bit more mobility um, so I, I quite like getting a second runner as a, as a reserve for dwarves. Does he normally run with one runner, or is he lost one recently? Do we know? Uh, I know he starts one runner. I don't know if he gets a second one. Yeah, he always starts with one, and if he goes to 12 men, it's usually a runner. Right. Um, which is what I do as well. So there you go. Great minds think alike. <laughs> I did recently start with two runners and hated it and ended up selling one. I was like, really, <laughs> he just wasn't doing anything. He just stood there. Yeah, but that, that's it. It's, it's basically it's just again reliability versus power, isn't it? You know, like it's. Uh, I don't like it with, with eleven. That the second run is basically superfluous, but with twelve, um, you know, if you're going to go to twelve, then I think it's a, it's he's the best twelfth guy to have because it gives you uh, gives you things, doesn't it? it? Gives you options and that it gives you, it gives you the, a better two turn having two runners. Well, that's the thing with two runners, isn't it? It's a bit of redundancy in case anything 
horrible does happen to your primary ball carrier. You've got that little bit of redundancy built in, haven't you? So uh, I I personally prefer a two-runner build myself, but... I, I like I it as mind. the reserve. I like it as a reserve, because also, if, you like it, if you're getting outbashed by somebody, then you need movement more, don't you? Because yeah. you've got you've got less players to cover the pitch with. So there's the foul appearance. Yeah, huge, huge. And this is why appearance. he should have got involved, isn't it? This is why with Nurgle, um, starting off with Nurgle, yeah, which are really good defensively as well as offensively. I, yeah, yeah. And just the fact he's down two players, like he's either giving up the drive, or he's mashing in and trying to clop on things, isn't he? And. Mm. I think he should have mashed in, personally. But now he can mash in this turn, I guess. A bit. <laughs> Maybe. I'll see what he does. It's not easy down two players, is it? That's why I just liked. Especially when one of them's the strength for Warrior. When we have three left. Yeah, that's why I just like claw pumping. I think you've got to claw pump. You've got to give yourself every chance to get back into it. And you get back into it by mindlessly claw bombing things. Just a normal claw mate, no bomb. Oof. I don't like it. I don't like it, you know. I See, you, you have to come in now to get this second hit. So now that you haven't come in all the way, you've only sort of like half come in. It's a bit rough. Yeah, you can put the claw mighty on though and, and block the... Uh... Oh no, that doesn't work, does it? He's going to have to block this guy away from him. That sucks. I'm glad he moved the Claw Mighty as the assist as opposed to the Beast of Nurgle. He may have been tempted to move the Beast of Nurgle across, but that would have been glorious for Purple Chest. The moment that Beast of Nurgle moves one way, <laughs> Purple Chest is moving the other. Yeah. Or if it goes stupid. I'm yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He likes to grab space to his uh, PC. And, uh... If you leave it open, he'll grab it. For sure. <laughs> and, uh, oh, getting some wow. rotter dodges. Even a JFI because he's minus movement. <laughs> and uh, hello, Jack Bull. Yeah, yeah, there's no bezel. There's no bezel. <laughs> no <laughs> rollable bezel. Yeah, sick. It's true, though, right? It, it, that, that's that's what he needs to do now. Like, if, if he hadn't taken any removals on the LOS, then, you know, maybe nibbling away with Claw Mighty hits would be all right but the fact that he's down two men he's really going to struggle to stop the score with nine versus eleven so i think he had to make removals and to make removals you blitz with claw palm and you pile on every time oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> gotta be brave ain't you gotta be brave strike first strike hard no, no mercy, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> do we know who won the toss and went on defense he might have done yeah he might have done but then I, I think PC is a fan of is a fan of receiving if he wins the toss with overtime. Plus against Nurgle, you probably want to receive, don't you? Yeah. I mean, not even the second half. This half, sick as eggs. Like he's, you know, if he'd made, he could have made three removals by now. See, bros, couldn't he? He could have literally made three cars if he'd been blitzing with claw palm. But instead, he's hit with a claw mighty. He hasn't had those re-rolls to the uh, armor and injury. And uh, he's still 9 versus 11. Yeah, I didn't, Steve Motty, because I thought I could stop the a, a not very good Dark Elf team from scoring, and I very nearly did. And also, he had a wizard, so my uh, scoring drive was absolutely not nailed on. So I really liked the, uh, the, the stopping, you know, trying to do everything I could to just stop him. Um... And forego, you know, the uh, high roll chance a little bit. Wizards are such trash. They yeah. really are. They're fucking bullshit. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't blame wizards. I blame everything else for being trash and the wizard just being too good. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Which makes it fucking trash, doesn't it? Let's be fair. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I was playing PC, I'd pile on every single turn, guaranteed. <laughs> Even if it was looked bad, because it would annoy him even more. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Especially with a wizard in hand, you are just not going to beat PC by not hitting him, are you? You know, um, do you know what? even the best coaches in the world have a great plan until they get punched in the face, and that's what you got to do with PC: <laughs> is punch him in the face, make him bleed, make him cry for his mum. 
<laughs> yeah. It was indeed Daiwa, yeah. Yeah. And wiz wizards are stupid, aren't they? Really? The the bolt is gone, backyard door door. They they still have the fire wow, look at that. They still oh. have fireballs, but um Three. instead of a bolt you turn people into a frog with a zap spell. How is it for like a, a turn or for more than Rest of the drive, innit? Rest of the drive, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Kaz. It's Kaz Jackball, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, I've got a few quotes up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. You should just come out with uh, Sigvald the Magnificent speech. That would be good. Fuck it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you blitz, blitz here with Seabrooks? Uh, the edge up. Guard, mighty blow, blitzer. He's left him out to dry a little bit, and he that edgy up. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I like that. Mm -hmm. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if Seabrawls can make him pay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's not the quote, is it? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. Also, he could have blitzed that guy. He's blitzed. He could have blitzed that guy's blitzed, and then chained, chained a further hit to his claw, mighty something like that. He could have done, but not what he's done. I would have I not it... done this. I think I like blitzing the blitz from the beast and bringing the beast in. I don't like that. <laughs> He's just sort of stuck on one player now where PC wants him. He is, yeah. He is. But out of claw pond. <laughs> I could have claw pond. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have to claw pond him because I've got tackle. <coughs> yeah, yeah, he could have that, that blitz him. That actually forward have got claw pond all day there. That was, that was the play. Um... Besides Agi 4 on a Dwarf Blitzer being an abomination. And <laughs> oh. I've got one on this CCL and he's been glorious. I, I won like 3 0 against someone because of him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would have clawed him. I mean, I would have been clawed on him every turn. I don't know why he's allergic to clawed on <laughs> Well, it's, it's, I forgot who said it, but like some people take the skills and then don't use them. It's like, well, you know what skills you've taken, why aren't you using them? Yeah, that's what I find the craziest thing. The absolute craziest thing. Like it's okay in in the game because obviously he could think, you know, positional value and everything. Like it's fair enough. But when it's on the LOS and they've got mighty blow block players and not mighty blow block players and they don't block with the mighty blow block players, it's like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like this is fair enough. He can think that he doesn't want the you know he doesn't want to pile on yeah. and he doesn't want the claw the claw pummer stuck places and stuff. Like he's got tackle. He's you know, you, there's like this thing, there's factors for every other thing, but like, especially in the LOS, I just think it's madness. All these pestigors running away. The fight's <laughs> over here, guys. <laughs> What's best in life, PC? Uh, PC. What's best in life, Calcium? <laughs> To stamp on war dancers' heads and hear the lamentations of their coaches. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is. <laughs> and that's the bottom line, because Calcium <laughs> Kaz said so. <laughs> Fun fact, one of my earliest uh, emails was stonecoldkaz at blah 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 dot blah blah blah. So um, I, I could have been known as Stone Cold Kaz, which sounds significantly worse than Calcium Kaz. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, he's got the rod. Yeah, he's got the rackle. He's got the rackle sweeper. So he really could have just left him back to deal with the the runner and uh, and been claw pumping indiscriminately. Oh yeah, that's turn a good five, one. and we're already up the pitchers dwarfs. We're looking pretty good. That's the thing, because it was a positional blitz as well, right? Hitting this this yeah. edge guy. Like he's the he was the furthest forward player. So just claw pumping him made sense positionally. That's why I didn't like blitzing him and getting the beast in because you're still leaving like this door open. So I, 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 I generally on defense I like hitting the furthest forward player of the opposition, and uh, he didn't. He just hit a random fella. And he's left open. And now the only real hit you've got is a blitz on the stand firm. You don't want to be blitzing stand firm players, mm. do you? You know, really. um, you don't get the pal. It's not going to end well. No. You, you probably can put in three assists here um, <laughs> to make it a 3D, but it's still rough, isn't it? You probably can't actually because the, the dwarves could shuffle to the middle of the field as well, so you still got to keep them locked down the side but get enough in front. 
And he's down two players because he hasn't been caught for me. <laughs> this ball guy could get hit soon. If he's yeah. not careful. Comment peut-on oser toucher ce joueur de son tentacule? Maybe he has to go in with the uh, these warriors. Probably both have to just stand up and wall off there. Oh, he's moving free. This one, he can't. He has to do fire to move. He's got. He's got to. <laughs> <laughs> movement free is so shit. I hate it. Yep, me too. But he's claw mighty guard, isn't he? Yeah. He's, kind of he's finally blitzing with claw palm. Woo! Let's stand firm. Let's go. Pylon. But now, pylon? now it's turn five, right? And now it's not an auto pylon. Like yeah. the early, the earlier turns, it was auto pylon. Now he might want him st stood up to get in the way a bit, but he doesn't, and he gets the removal. God, just imagine if you'd done that for the previous four turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he, he can't. It's hard for him to 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 cover the sideline, isn't it? Because he uh, because of it's the frenzy. Three festivals left to come put up a defense. Yeah, you could always put you could always put your ball carrier in the line of mighty blow. Um, yeah. you know, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I think also like because he's strength four, I would I would have wanted him holding like you know, uh, like two squares to the uh, like. No, he's just not holding anything now, is he? Because you know? he could have put a guy you know holding the sidelines because he would have stopped him getting served. But um, this is. Uh, I would have not stood firm. Oh no! Yeah, I would have not stood firm there, because then if he, if he follows you, he can't activate the beast, can he? I guess if uh, if he doesn't stand firm, the Nurgle stays, and if the beast gets a pow, he can be on both players, and then this guy's free. Yeah. Yeah, um, That's screw fair. dudes, right? The, the beast of the Nurgle's out of the drive. I didn't even like activating him there, to be honest. Um, he's going nowhere. You should have just just let let him hold yeah. that blitzer. He doesn't even have a buddy anymore. He's stuck forever. Yeah, he followed with him. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the stand film was quick there, because now he doesn't have this beast. So Nurgle Purple Chest has a choice here, doesn't yeah. he? He can either hit the Claw Mighty Pestigore with a guard assist, um, or he can go for the ball carrying strength four. Um, I think he goes. He could go for the surf, but he, he wants to score, doesn't he? He could go for the rackle and go but, to the um, middle. Okay, he's not no, you run that blitzer around. That's your guard assist. Yeah. I really like hitting this strength four, I've oh, got to yeah. be honest. Yeah. It was just whether he was going to yeah. surf him or not. That was That was the question for me. But um, he probably doesn't have enough players to do it safely, to be fair. No, I don't think these long birds can reach. Fine. No. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he could have done it, but it would have been a bit dodgy. And, uh, you know, you, you've got to win first, haven't you, at the end of the day? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a little dodgy to have gone for the serve. I mean, very greedy. Uh, not not even a little greedy. I don't mean very greedy, but it was a good, really good play to serve, wasn't it? Maybe he would have gone for it against a claw pommer. If the claw pommer had been there, it was probably worth it. But as good as the as good as this guy is with strength four and edge four and move seven, he's not that. He's not as good as a claw pommer, is he? <laughs> I mean, if he kills it, the one in nine on the ball pickups could just be rough. It could be. Yeah. This wow. guard troll slayer doesn't have pile on. He doesn't, does he? Oh, and because tentacles. he doesn't, yeah, because he doesn't have pile on, that means he can claw on this blitzer, and then claw mighty the uh, the, the slayer, and maybe he can get enough back to be. Do you know what? This could be a big turn, Jim, couldn't it? Um, Seabraws, I think, has finally got what he wanted. Um, PC has sort of exposed, lifted his chin a little bit and exposed his chin a little bit here, isn't he? I think he had to. He had to do that, didn't he? Yeah. But, you know, PC did nothing wrong. That being said, this has given Seabraws a bit of an opportunity. Two removals here. 
I mean, he has had the opportunity to blitz with claw pump every single turn and hasn't taken it. <laughs> yeah, turns. that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's played the long game here, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the way for you to get even closer. <laughs> Pylon doing nothing. The ball chin in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is why you hit the claw pom instead of the ball carry, because then you don't get claw pom back. Well, yeah, the previous turn he had two options. He could have, he could have mighty blowed the claw pommer. Uh, sorry, the claw mighty. Yeah. Um, and I think he made the right choice in going for the ball carrier, but you know there was an argument. Yeah. The best way to deal with claw pom is to remove claw pom. Wow. Lame. Lame claws from Sea Brawls. <laughs> oh, he just goes for the dodge. See you later, dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's huge, isn't it? Now they now it gets a bit sticky for uh for PC. You can't even it? begrudge Sea Brawls that because let's be fair, he's been as dangerous as a bag full of kittens right now, isn't he? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> It's been horrible for him. Might as well be an elf now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, PC can just score here, give him two turns. <laughs> he could, yeah. He could. He could think about it, but I mean, he has got that move seven, strength four, edge four. Like, that's a real good player for scoring, isn't it? Yeah, but I guess that means he's not picking up with sure hands, I guess. Because he has to be the receiver. That Doesn't push has actually that. made made the stall really awkward. Yeah. Well, well he had to get power because he didn't have tackle. It's a blitz. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he does just score now with that non-knockdown. He's got a GFI, hasn't he? Oh, so that's why he didn't re-roll it. He's got a GFI. Yeah. He must, he's I mean, got a score, hasn't he? Especially with moving all these guys. If he was scoring, he could have got a hit on this Nurgle Warrior back here instead of moving up. But I yeah, think he's thinking this, if he misses the scoring now, and GFI, if it, you know, like it's surely if he fails the GFI, he wants people there because he's, he's got to score. He can't stall it there because he just get can surf, won't he? <laughs> so he's got to score now. This is brave. The bollocks on PC. If he stalls this, the bollocks on him. Honestly. <laughs> I think this is mental. Oh, wow. That's, that's, uh, that shows things up a little bit, doesn't it? You can get uh, another long beard up if he... Oh, wait. No, it's got guard. It'll be a wonder. Yeah, it's a one Yeah. I guess the one better. Our parents does a thing. Yeah, it's not guaranteed or anything, but it seems fucking dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, Invictus, oh. yes. Um, the Nurgle do have a plus movement, um, plus strength pesticle. So the two term was a real possibility. So that's essentially why. Um, purple chest has gone for the stall. I think without that, purple chest would have been quite happily scoring. You know, and Sea Brawls would have struggled with the two turn against the full strength dwarf team. Yeah. So just uphill here, don't you? I don't think you can get a two D, but he or even a one D, but you can just uphill and then surf the ball carrier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uphill for a push or a pal. I was about to say, I don't know what the odds are, but Wolf Bark has obliged in chat. So. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wolf. Sadly, none of these doors have stunned for him. Yeah. And that's another reason why this was really risky, wasn't it? Yeah. If, if one or two of those had stand firm, then it would be a different thing altogether, but. Yeah. Yeah, the true squirrel, yeah. Oh, this Nurgle team does have a beast. I forgot. <laughs> he 
He needs to make this hit, not that hit. He needs to hit with this guy so he can get through. Yeah, he yeah. gets the power so he can get through easily now. Come on, uphill. You can do it. And the good thing is, if he gets, like, the both down or whatever, he can just claw on somebody <laughs> instead. <laughs> or, like, think about dodging in with the, uh, with the edge fourth dark guy, whatever. Oh, what, the two heads? Yeah. But you've just got to punch him. You've got to, you've got to go for the, you've got to go for this uphill next. The uphill on it, all day, yeah. yeah. The uphill decides the rest of your turn. Yeah. yeah. Sucks if you roll a skull, but you've got to go for it. You gotta go for it next. You need the other guys able to react. This is the uh, option you've been given by PC, so you take it. Yeah. Uh, no, that's right. I think off back. Yeah, I think that's right. I, no, it's not two D four. It's two D three, isn't it? It's two D three. I know it's four. Yeah, it's four. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Do you put a reroll into the red dice? Yes. You do now. You do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you couldn't take the... I mean, you could You could have taken the both down, but you, you obviously you couldn't take the score. We're no school. Yeah. Time in the champions. Well, here we go. Here's the uh, surf, probably. Just do it. Come on. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. <laughs> He's there. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Bloody hell, Jim, 80's pop reference is my thing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't move this guy, fuck! Don't, you, they've oh. got horns, you know! There goes your fuck ball recovery, me. then. <laughs> there was a guy who could have helped, wasn't there? He could have helped. Like, he's doing literally nothing there. Oh, man. Ooh. Didn't like that. Did I not like that? <clears throat> PC just has this blitz, I guess, so I guess that's all he's got. Bosh, ball carrier is in range. He's got it. But yeah, this this dude, this rotter who's there doing nothing, could have could have moved around and done something, couldn't he? Could have Depending where the ball went, yeah. Like, well, he well he could have got in the way. He could have got in the way of this blodge blitzer. What? What? Um, so what? Why aren't we picking up the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like this is he's got a 2D and he can run away and pick it up and pass now. Why have you given him a chance? It it's probably that doesn't crazy. matter. It's but not even he's that crazy the plus edge. Wow. He's got a chance instead of no chance. Oh, what do you mean he can't score? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, GFI, pass. Of course he can score, Pedro, with the Agi 4 blitzer, run him to the end zone, yeah, and then you've got this bit. dodge blitzer that can recover the ball and pass. It's, it's unlikely. He doesn't even but... have to dodge, he can make a two dice. And free him up. Well, maybe. No, never mind, maybe a dodge then. Three, four, five, six. So he gets another chance of a 2D. He gets the power. <clears throat> like, what's the hardest thing here? The pass. Uh, the well, yeah. This is a ma this is a massive shame, isn't it? Because Seabros, al although he was playing standoffish and we didn't particularly like it, he got rewarded for his patience, didn't he? Yeah. And then does that. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, he, it he was stood here, he was stood here. He, he had the move to just go and get. Oh my, what the hell was he doing? Oh, if PC gets away with this, he is a lucky bastard. <laughs> I mean, it's. Oh, shame. Oh, j'ai pas plus, plus, plus. Makes the GFI. Oh, he gets a one on the cat. Oh, oh what? Oh, Holy shit! Oh, man. I've got to say, Seabros fully 100% deserved to be scored on there, didn't he? How yeah. the yeah. hell do you just put him there instead of picking up the ball? He could have sucked it completely and instead he gave him the shot. 
But now he gets to surf like three players, <laughs> potentially. Sometimes, in Seabrawl's defense, sometimes yeah, when you've played a turn like that, it's, it's, it's just easy to miss stuff, isn't it? You know, um, mm. he clearly didn't see that. If he, you know, if Seabrawl's had seen that as an option, he wouldn't have left it. Maybe um, he's running out of time and he just clicked. I, I don't know how much time yeah. he had left on the turn. Maybe he just clicked at random, like, because it, yeah. it was about to run out of time. But it was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. The, yeah, the, the play itself was terrible. But, yeah. you know, there is, you know, I, I tried to be a little bit more compassionate to guys in chalices and in general. You know, we're yeah. all human, aren't we? We all make mistakes. Can't even serve Unless you're without picking and of course, up the then you ball. don't make mistakes because you're like a fucking chess computer. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> Um, you can absolutely surf Limartis. You put the, this uh, this Claw Mighty goes in there, and then the Claw Pommer goes one, two, three, four, five, six GFI and surfs him. But thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> um, yeah, Claw Pumming probably is better. Um, though now he hasn't surfed him, he could he could he could, he could surf surf these two. He's got a double surf on. Why wouldn't you go for the double surf? He, he just didn't get the... Oh, wait, he did get the pow. Wait, what? Yeah, he got the pow, but he took the push and... Mm. He could have got a double surf and hit this guy. But instead, it looks like he's going... Okay, so he is doing the surf. There you go, Bosh. I don't know why he didn't take the pow there. Target, wasn't it? High value target, that adji for. <laughs> but by not taking the bow, he hasn't got the assist for this surf. <laughs> 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 okay, he's got a guarder. He's got a guarder, it's alright. Why didn't he take the power? I, mean, I don't know. In okay, case so he removed him, I guess. If he removed him, he doesn't get the surf. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, he got to removal anyway. But I think he's third enough place to fill this back square if he removed him. Yeah, he probably did. Like this rotter here. Yeah. Good apo. Yes, yeah, obviously instant apo. He's got, he's yeah. got two. He's got the second one, so he's... Oh, movement for Rotter getting his level. Woo! Go on, my son. <laughs> <laughs> but he stopped the score anyway, so, you know. I think that was deserved. As, as harsh as it is, I think it was deserved for PC to have had his score stopped. Because he did that weird stall that was just, like, way too easy to break, wasn't it? It was way too easy to surf the ball on that stall. I didn't like the stall at all. Um... Yeah. And then, but then Seabros kind of just deserved to get stalled on after completely spooning it. <laughs> yeah, he did shit the bed, didn't he? He properly he shit the bed. You know, as I say, regardless of him just missing it or whatever, or being a human being, it was, yeah, it was horrible. And hey, he got away with it. So yeah. I, I don't hate the way, you know, as I say, I would think I'd have been more aggressive, but then I'm a more aggressive coach anyway. But I don't hate the way Seabros played that. I yeah. think it was, he was pretty tight. Um, yeah. and, he can argue now, can't he? Well, look, I did, yeah. I did what I was meant to do, you know. Yeah, and he, he did, you know, he did exactly the right thing to get the surf and you know on the ball and that, didn't he? he did all that part. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just didn't, he didn't do the move to the ball and pick it up <laughs> at the end. Yeah, Nia, I get that. Um, it will be interesting to hear Purple Chest's rationale. I'm sure Purple Chest will join Jim afterwards, and it'll be interesting to hear his rationale as to why. He didn't score turn seven. We, yeah. we, we, well, we know why. Because with a movement seven go, you can, you know, you're likely to get two turned. But mm. hey, it's still not over for Purple Chess by any stretch, is it? He's got a full bench. Um, he's got a wizard in pocket, yeah. and it's Purple Chess. Let's yeah. be fair. Yeah, I mean, it's basically. E you know, he's it's this is a pretty decent half from in terms of attrition. He's only lost one player and he's got the reserves, so he's still got eleven men, so you know, he hasn't done any damage himself. Unless he was forget to this guy. Um just <laughs> KO not coming back is kind of annoying. He's missing his stand firm dwarf. Yeah, it's only it's only one player though, isn't it? Like considering he's got a team, you know, he he could have taken eight claw on blitzes and he's had yeah. guys surfed. And he's got two claw mighties as well. Only having one guy KO'd is, is pretty decent. <laughs> Seabraws is wishing. So Pedro's put um, waiting so long to hit with claw palm. Seabraws ain't going to wait, surely, now. He's going to be all over these dwarves, isn't he? He's yeah. He's going to, you know, he's going to put his foot on their neck and then squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's a, sure. it's a claw. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think I think for sure PC should have scored. I think that was that was why it was it was just too easy, wasn't it? It was too easy to get that up kill. And then uh, well, even if you so. have to use the wizard to stop the two turn, you know, I know it's not ideal, but. Yeah, he could have just bolted the movement seven and blitzed the last, next guy who was in range and he stopped the two. Yeah, we well, only do it if you have to, don't you? But, you know, um, Seabrawls might have had a really good LOS hit, you know, and anyway, it's all ifs and ands, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ifs and buts. There's a saying there, isn't it? I can't remember it. You could make it up, Calcio. <laughs> yeah, if some butts until you get punched in the face or something along those lines, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. Oh. <laughs> Calcium, the Muhammad Ali. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There's not a lot of sweet science to my blood bowl, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. <laughs> the extra reroll is good for Seabrot, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna see a greed reroll sometime. Oh, injury. There's a cancer, yeah. The guy who we just appoed. <laughs> Get out of it. Oh, he did. Oh, I wanted to see a double apo on him then. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to save it for a, a KO, isn't he? Or a good player. And now I think he, he couldn't. Like that was a horrible one to use. I wasn't like I, I know. I know you weren't seriously saying that he would use it, but just for the benefit of people who aren't as good as calcium, um, you know, the miss next. He just can't. Can he's there's, there's better players to use to use a dodgy apo on. And, and he still has the guys. runner, so yeah. he still has a bench. If the first apple was fine, wasn't it? it oh, yeah. Because he, he, was, he was movement busted, so the first apple was fine. Um, but yeah, then, yeah, that, that would have been a bad apple. Yeah. Well, not too rowdy. Three claw hits, and you only take one cares. I think you'd be happy with that. I think Seabrawls is happy as well, isn't he, in this position? Yeah, yeah. he's made removal. Couple of Two stuns. stuns. Those dwarfs aren't doing anything next to him. Yep, guard bracketing his claw palm, so it's hard to uh, hard to lock him down. Same as PC, he fails the first pick, but it doesn't really matter. Have you even played Blood Bowl long enough unless you fail your first six pickups with Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Oh, that, that was wasn't brutal. It, <laughs> oh dear. Um, I don't know. So I think it was too I think it was too easy to do it. Um, Yes, yes, Gruel dude, yeah. Like, I've been calling him Arch 4 because, the you know, it only matters on the pickup, doesn't it? He's very unlikely to pass. It's pretty much only on the pickup. Mostly, he's at, like, most most use of Arch 4 is dodging, isn't it? Which is why um, it's not that big a deal as a passing stat in Blood Bowl 3. Because you don't really pass that much anyway. <laughs> PC answering with a stun of his own. Yeah. Not terrible. I guess he's basing the Nurgle Warrior without block, thinking he might want in nine. <laughs> it's like he didn't have to, he could have just moved him back one and yeah. still blitzed. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to try, try hopefully suck off a reroll, I guess, isn't he? That's his thinking. And he can uphill that hit as well, can't he? So yeah. like, it, that's a pretty decent matchup, I guess. He's got, he's got, you know, he's got the stand firm on him. So he, if he hits, he hits without blocks, there's a decent chance of the suck, suck off a reroll. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say, suck off on, re on purpose. I say, suck off on purpose. To be honest. <laughs> With stand firm, he had two turn covered. I think he was worried more about the claw than getting surfed. 
Yeah, it's weird. Uh, thank you very much, Lee Martin. It, it was uncharacteristic. I, I, I really felt he was going to score. Like, after moving those guys, I thought, well, he's scoring then, because it wouldn't be a stun. It was really weird. Yeah. No, I don't think PC would ever be worried about claw hits. <clears throat> he certainly doesn't play like he is. Yeah. Um, I think he maybe should be some. Oh, fuck off, Seabrooks. I mean, I don't agree with that play, but who's to say it was right or wrong? It was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! There's the one in nine. Yeah, but he used his he used his re his blitz to do it, and why why would you blitz that person? What blitzing stand firm? What can possibly go wrong with blitzing stand firm players? You know. Now, Purple Chest could get a shot at this Claw Mighty. Probably will. With that push. <laughs> yeah. Could he surf that go? Um, he probably can double GFI. Yeah, he can double GFI. But he'd get counter surf probably, wouldn't he? Or something, so he probably doesn't want it. Like he probably just wanted double G if I had to do it. He might. <clears throat> he might. I mean, he, could, he didn't he score, this... so we don't know what he's going to do anymore. Yeah, because he could put this guard in to get the 2D on the... Uh... Yeah, so maybe he is going to do it, actually. <clears throat> but I mean, he would do that anyway. But Could PC be in danger of overcommitting if he goes for a surf here? Goes for the big play. I mean, kind of, but he's got Seabro's got six players here anyway, hasn't he? Okay, he's not going for it. But Seabro's got six players here, so like, you know, he couldn't really divert away from there anyway himself, could he? And it wouldn't be that. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Seabro's taking a flank this early. I think he should have probably stayed centre pitch, but he came to help this uh, Noga warrior, didn't he? Yeah. After the blitz failed, so. Yeah, I, I would have been fine just stranding that, that warrior and. Uh, yeah, pushing. doing a job, and he just holding players up. He's got no block, so the less you do with him, the better. Yeah. And even though you've got the claw, might blow stuck here. You've still got the pommer. I like this. The uh, the tagging the beast there, so that if he, you know, he, if he hits first with a warrior, he can't follow. If he hits with a beast, then obviously it's blockless <coughs> and loner and uh, you know stupid and everything. And if he does hit with, he's taking him away from the warrior as well. Like if the, you know if he just follows up, so it's pretty nice, pretty nice stuff from PC there. Oh, Seabros gets away with one there, and another one. <laughs> And that's helping. That's helped Zebras a lot. Now he can move these guys around and not have all six that? people in the line what anymore. That? Just dodge out his back under the, the bench. Team. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, PC looks a bit overcommitted, having five guys over here and freeing yeah, up Zebras. I want the stats. runner more central than this. Yeah, I didn't like the runner over there, to be honest. I guess he's just trusting Stan Firm a lot. So it looks like Seabrawls is actually going to face off against this Wall of Dwarves then. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? And he is hitting that. Is he following? Yeah, yep, so he's he taking away the assist for Beast. Interesting. Okay, so that warrior move at the beginning of the turn, it, 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 everything suggests that he's going to switch here, but I don't know. And it, the, because of the direction, the Beast is still on this guy? So. I would uh, nearly echo your sentiments, Wolfbark, except I would say I really don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, the, the thing is, you can't see what the person's thinking, can you? So, like, you know. Yeah. You, you don't really know what to see. But Maybe that he sees something that you've not seen. Exactly, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, both teams are pretty slow, so... 
Yeah, vanilla armor breaks on troll slayers is a thing as well, obviously. <laughs> Isn't that what they're for? To take all the armor breaks? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. He that's makes it. the dodge. Big dodge. Big up dodge nation. <laughs> Dodge. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess there's no rush. And kick. Oh, move him further away, you dickhead. I mean, I think he should have maybe moved that character more towards the centre. <laughs> the same as PC's runner. They both needed to <laughs> move more to the centre. Yeah. Like, if PC comes up this right, you don't really care. You just go to the left and ignore it. Yeah. He's did, too did, slow to yeah. come back. I hope you appreciated my uh, Rebel Clan name there, by the way. Dodge into catch and kick. Because <laughs> it's another banning. Yeah. I've, I've probably got 17 bannings for Rebel now. Fucking. <laughs> I wanted to quit ages ago, but and then I only... I want. I wanted to win their their league before I quit, but then my team got killed. So I thought, oh, I'm not going to play for another three years to build the team back up. <laughs> Ironically, that's what's happening to my team this season. I'm yeah. getting. I've, I've lost two claw bombers in two games. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah, brutal, isn't it? Well, yeah, he's probably just putting the soft water, looking for some removals. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pal boy, I'm super smart. <laughs> oh, and he removes him. Bosh. That is huge for PC. Yeah, big removal. Massive. Indeed, Pedro, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to fucking win it before I quit. <laughs> yeah, you, you had the team to win it, Rick. Yeah, and then my team got deleted. <laughs> right, open with a beast block here. It's the only way to do it. It's it's literally the only play is beast block, claw palm, flood through the middle, yeah. isn't it? The, yeah, the yeah. beast block decides your turn. Let's go, champ. Turn twelve, it's getting a bit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be rowdy here. Time to shirt copter with the beast and Nurgle. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> God, I wish Stubman Dubro played Blood Bowl two. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. It would, wouldn't it? If he streamed. Oh yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh, yuck. Lame. I guess we're not moving forward this turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you would you hand off to a pest to go here? Like, no, you can't because the wizard isn't. It? Yeah, I guess. It's got it's to hold it. Slow. As as it, can. it looks like he <laughs> look, does look like he's going to kick your head off. With fucking twelve turns each left, <laughs> it looks like it's going to kick. <laughs> That's why he's got his four rerolls. <laughs> oh yeah, helicopter dick. That's great, isn't it? That's how you impress a chick. <laughs> oh dear. So I guess this claw Nurgle warrior gets mighty blow next turn. Yeah. He's got a route round the back, hasn't he here, PC? Which he, we all know he likes to take those. <laughs> Around the old tradesman's entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Going through the brown door. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't actually reach, though. I thought you could, but you can't. One, two, three, four. He can't. One, two, three, four. No, he can't. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, you can only base. 
It's tragic, isn't it? But he could bang. He could bang out the uh, the beast and the uh, and the warrior. And then he could like just blitz the claw mighty, or he could blitz this warrior. I I'd rather blitz the claw mighty pest, to be honest. I'd rather go in that way. Just stick a dude on him. Ooh, no. Doesn't go. Doesn't commit. Nice. It's quite the game of cat and mouse, this, isn't it? Cat and mouse with WMD, basically. Oh, he re-rolls the foul appearance. Funny enough, the foul appearance is one of the reasons why I would have rather blitz this guy. Because, like, that's all you can do, isn't it? Is just, like, kind of try to blitz the pestigals more and the rotters more just because you don't have to roll foul appearance. It's basically the only thing. Oh, stun on the beast. Oh, that's, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's a nice yeah. stun. Huge stun. I would have just put him in there. And then done these hits and see what happened. <clears throat> it doesn't stand firm. Interesting. Because he's getting hit again. Yeah. That frees up two players, though. And they yeah, I think I had a chance standing there. firm there. You know, it would have been risky, but... I mean, sometimes you got to take those risks. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't oh, it? Not these coaches. They can fuck all risks the whole game. <laughs> I think they've rolled about four dice between them, they? <laughs> Holy shit. Why do you think they still have all the rules? Yeah. There literally are no dice in this game. <laughs> <laughs> again, PC is a uh, based the non block Nurgle Warrior. Yep. I think this time you've got to take the hit though, you because you've got to get forward, haven't you? You can you can hit the you can hit him and push him to here. You can hit him and maybe power him, two chances to power him. And then you can blitz the stand firm and you know, make some kind of sh horrible half <laughs> cage. Or you can blitz this guy actually. Blitz this guy. He powers him. You could blitz him, that would be alright. We'll find out in two minutes' time. Again, you take this Nurgle Warrior block first and see what happens, and that decides you turn bubbly. <laughs> Calcium is pretty good at laughing at his own joke. I never understand why that's a bad thing. I mean, if I think something's funny, I laugh at it. <laughs> and, and, like, you know, if I've said something, I think, like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to be all paranoid now. <laughs> <laughs> don't be, don't be careless. The funniest man in Blood Bowl can't be found. Yeah, Daniel, I agree. Standing on the sideline was massively risky for PC. I think he should have banged it in. Or, like, you know, gone with a different stall. Either bang it in or go with a different stall. Not, not like, I, once he didn't re roll it, I thought, well, he's, you know, he set up like that. I thought, oh, but he's, he's saving his re roll for the GFI. And then it wasn't. So. We were trying to be, I was trying to be nice at the time when I said, look at the bollocks on PC doing that. <laughs> you know, I thought it was brave. Um, it turned out to be really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it from PC, honestly. I, f I didn't think you'd take any that sort of risk because that was a high risk. Not real, I guess. Yeah, it was the, the like low reward. Well, it strikes me as being a bit out of character from PC because PC's the type of guy that really locks down a game, doesn't give his opponent anything, you know. Um, so it, it, struck, it struck me as being a little bit out of character. Yeah, it was, it was weird, wasn't it? <sighs> See, PC yeah. is human. He does bleed. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the one that you want, Jack Bull. I'll give you the one that you want. End the turn, for fuck's sake! <laughs> End the fucking turn, man! 30 seconds, coming out of there. Ugh. Hurry up, Zebras! <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Click but buttons! Look, knocking over this Nurgle Warrior, he's only moving free, he can't go anywhere. This is actually pretty good. i got no problem with him burning the three minutes, but now he's got 25 seconds to do everything. Yeah. Um, you know, it pisses me off when Mr. Page does this. 
Um, <laughs> you know, oh, I've got four seconds left. Let's play my turn. Yeah, it's just yeah. nuts, isn't it? A it's actions nuts. take time as well. You need time to do those actions. It's nothing's instant, and like time doesn't stop while you're clicking. <laughs> unless, unless someone's crashed, of course, because. <laughs> or unless they're paused. Yeah, they're paused. Has he paused? Dude? Yeah, they're paused. Crazy that it doesn't tell us good uh, game design, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's paused. So now we have to take back everything we, I just said in the last 30 seconds or so. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't take it back everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, list page oh, stuff you can keep in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think that when he bollocked it up on turn eight, maybe it was, uh, you know, maybe he was running out of time and he just, he just like, you know, frantically clicked. Can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember the time. Well, he took a while thinking about it, but he, I think he still had about 40 seconds left, if I remember correctly. Um, so he had a bit of time left, but as I say, it'll be really interesting. I Purple Chest is probably one of the nicest guys in Blood Bowl, as well as one of the best. And I'd be very surprised if he doesn't admit that that might have been an error. You know, he, he's not arrogant, is he? He doesn't try to cover his mistakes. He's the first person to hold his hands up if he makes a mistake. Yeah. Of course, if he comes in and says, no, I played that perfectly, I just got unlucky. <laughs> then we got, then it's going to be a conversation, isn't it? <laughs> we'll slap him down to earth, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could see their chat. <laughs> yeah, um, we, we can see Bros is, is see Bros is streaming it. Um, he has commentary on his channel as well. So, um, if you want to check out see Bros, there you go. Um, and they've just said they're you know waiting for you to come back before I pause and stuff. So, um, they haven't said much. Seabro said, what a fucking idiot you were stalling there. Ha ha, get fucked, idiot. PC said, yes, I'm a stupid twat. I can't believe I let you surf him. No, I'm just making it all up. Yeah, idiot. I thought you could play, you fespian <laughs> prick. Yeah. <laughs> we are back. Oh, dear. I like doing the hit with the, uh, I like doing the hit with the rotter first because I like not standing firm there. Um, if you know, if if the initial was a push, I would have not stood firm. And then if you don't stand firm, then I think it's better. But maybe I'm wrong. But I like not standing firm. I don't know. So but there you go. We do get through though. Uh, yep. The rotter may have to do a GFI or two. Yeah, they got through. Well, see, Bros has found the hole and is now penetrating. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Might this movement free warrior is still really annoying me. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? He just he's just stuck there. Oh yeah! Oh god! I love Blood Bowl. Um, um, yeah, Jack Bull. I think it's because um, the playoffs needs a bit of thought because you're playing good players, and in ladder, you're playing people who, uh, you know. Maybe just bought the game on a sale. Bought the game uh, on a three dollars Steam sale and have no idea that it's not a live action game. <laughs> and they're like, what the hell? <gasps> Why is this turn based? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Plays um, one game, then gets a refund, but can't. Yeah, I have no problem with the yeah. playoffs being three minute turns. None at all. Um, I had a massive problem with the regular season being three minute turns. Yeah. But. Yeah, because you just don't play that many playoff games and you play loads of ladder games. Like, it, yeah. it makes total sense yeah. to, to do it like that. So, oh, he is GFI. Ball oh. moving the ball. He's moving it back. What the f... Where is he going? What the fuck? Guess, Why is he just, moving into the... to this I guess we're just moving... We're not moving all the way forward then? We're just staying here? On the half line? I don't know. Moving two forward? <laughs> Not even two, just the one. Oh, I, I despise this. 
Okay, twofold. I still this... despise this. So what's this? Hit, hit here, put guard in, hit with the runner, easy two days. Yeah. Okay, now he's going over there. I mean, this is still an easy two dice. <laughs> it's still one, two, three. The GFI and then the Blitz of Blitzes, I guess. Yep. Uh, the Wizard could be an option, some guy, but I think... <sighs> is there access to the ball here? I think yeah. there is, isn't there? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still an yeah, easy yeah. two dice on the ball. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's a 1D on the ball. It's only a 1D doing it this. Okay, so it's only a 1D here. Still. Unless he goes for the uphill on the uh, on this warrior. Or he goes for the fireball. Wolfbark called it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Wolfbark right again. Why don't you just fuck off being right all the time? Seriously. <laughs> no, one likes, no one likes a really good blood bowl smart ass, do they? Honestly. Oh god. Hey, why Wolfbark? And I'm always right, because I'm significantly oh, better than you, Calcium Kaz. Fuck off already, oh. seriously. Oh wow, we should have had you as, as Theresa May and Calcium. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how my voice got that high then. Wolfbark, that's how it got that high. Agitation. <laughs> that was incredible. I'm sure I've got a 0% record against that prick as well. <laughs> Christ, like, I, I even drew against Dionysian the other day. He got lucky to beat uh, draw against me, actually. You know, all this chat about Dionysian being the Don. Yeah, whatever. But, you know. I'm not impressed. There are no dice. Yeah. You have no Tomb Guardians left either. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, making friends in the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> this is why you get invited every time. Yeah, I know, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. There are no dice, there are no Tomb Guardians either. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. <laughs> What is up with fucking Dion ultra running, by the way? It's like the most stupid thing ever. I can't believe it. Literally can't believe it. No, why is he doing the extra one? Madman. I mean, this probably is a reason. But it's easy just to shout, Madman. <laughs> I, I don't like it, though, because he's only got two rerolls. Did he need either? I think maybe one... Nah, he's all on the ground. I don't think. No, he's in a really good spot now, though, and he, he, you know, the ball's protected. Um, not really, Kaz. Well, Seabrook's going to need shenanigans to get to the ball, isn't he? Not really. Depends. So what, what, he are we, what are we looking at? The movement seven, two yeah, heads, three two pluses. Yeah. For two D. I guess there's no recovery. But. Like, the, it's, he swamped he it, hasn't he? He swamped it with it. He's, well, yeah, so I guess by doing the GFIs, there's no recovery. I guess that's the thing. And there's no securing. Like, he's, this well, this is horrific, isn't it? Yeah, what a what a turn this was. This is He's won the turn, hasn't he? That, he's won the game, that was it, yeah. probably. Well, Seabrook's made a massive mistake. He he made the hole, and he, he looked like he was pushing, and then he changed his mind. Um, yeah. I think because he failed this GFI when the movement three stood up, he changed his mind. Yeah, but, but he I don't moved know why it there, he did that first. He, it wasn't because he failed, because he, he moved him there, right? If he was going to change his he would have moved him up if he was going to push forward, so. Oh, yeah, maybe. So he, he before he activated him, he changed his mind, and then he thought, oh, no, I just won't go forward. <laughs> NBM kill, that's generally my MO. Most people beat me, but I tend to kill their players. <laughs> <laughs> As long as there's dead players, it's fine. Yeah, that's it. So one in nine. Classic in in indecisiveness in Blood Bowl is catastrophic. If you decide on course of action and then change that course of action, especially early to mid-turn, it's never going to end well. It really isn't. Um, and I'm afraid that's probably what Seabraws did. He had an early plan and then something changed and it enabled PC to do this. Yeah, I mean, it was a great, it was a really lucky wizard, wasn't it? It was a, like, it was a super lucky wizard, to be fair. 
knocked everyone mm. down, got a yeah. perfect scatter. But he did have an option B, even if it wasn't a lucky wizard, he had an option B, didn't he? Oh, yeah. So, but I mean, it's 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 been devastating because it was so good, wasn't it? Like, now he's yeah, got yeah, this yeah. whole team walled off and everything, like, insane. Yeah. And he, yeah, here's the two heads, two days. Scatter's good for PC. Yeah, and those two GFIs meant that he, like, you know, if he had, if PC hadn't made those two GFIs, then c Rolls could have double GFI'd. And okay, he would have still lost the ball and... <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, it's it it means now he can't do anything, and now PC can just. I, collect I just it. thought one GFI was good enough. I didn't think he needed second. Maybe. Uh, maybe. But God, yeah, that 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 what a swing that was! Unbelievable. And this is why uh, calcium doesn't like wizards. <laughs> Why nobody all, should all good this. all good blood bowl players, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Those are annoying too, yeah. yeah. You give PC an inch in this game, he's gonna ruin your day. Yeah. And that's what happened. I mean he got he got more than an inch, didn't he? He got Yeah. He got uh he got probably three inches. <laughs> 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 he left he left the he left the front door open and then he got his back door smashed in. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed Wolfpack, yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, maybe if he was more aggressive in the first half, PC had to use a wizard to save the drive. And uh Flicky, how you doing mate? Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think PC was ever going to use his wizard to like not go for a counter score, you know. Like using it to stop a score is a bit shit, isn't it? You want to you want to use it to like stop it and turn over and get it, don't you? But I think he should have scored when he had the chance first half. PC. I do think that, but this has gone pretty swimmingly for him, hasn't it? This second half. No complaints from him. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. PC gave Seabrooks the full three inches, yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't give him the full three inches. He gave him, <laughs> he gave him a bit more than the tip. <laughs> but... I don't know if PC will love that we're, you know, uh, sort of likening him to having three inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we say we gave him three inches. We didn't say yeah. he stopped. Yeah, All yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, All it's, right. Okay. We could have more. It's Pur fine. Purple chest is the receiver of the three inches. He's not the giver of the three inches. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think PC is uh, Wolfback. I think PC is probably one of the most balanced people playing Blood Bowl right now. Very rarely do I, you know, I watch PC a lot, like we all do, and I very rarely see him tilt off. Um, so I think that's probably got a lot to do with his skill as well. People that tend to tilt off a lot, uh, shit. Let's be fair. <laughs> Well, yeah, they're less consistent, aren't they? That's the thing, yeah. isn't it? He's very yeah. consistent, as PC. Well, it's a dash game. As long as you have consistency, you should be able to win more matches than lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you know, like I think he's. Uh... You know, like again, like I'm not seeing anyone's higher level than PC, but you know, like pe other people may have like higher highs and lower lows than PC, but he's he's always he's very consistent, isn't he? Like he doesn't tilt as as yeah. what yeah. says. Like yeah, that's a good way to put. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. Obviously, you're not comparing him to a shitter, but you could compare him to uh, <laughs> or someone who's new to Blood Bowl or someone who's bad at Blood Bowl. Whatever. I don't like saying shit. I don't want to say shit anymore. But, Pedro, um, I think that's really harsh, saying Muppet Pac-Man and Jimmy Fantastic are two grade A tilters. I think that's really <laughs> harsh. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, Pedro, I don't really, uh, I don't really tilt that much. Uh, that you don't much. play Blood Bowl, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah you can't tilt if you don't play. <laughs> like, obviously, yeah. so in, CCL, in CCL, I tilt a fair amount. Because, you know, a fair amount. Because I just get pissed off and quit the stream. But, you know... I do that sometimes, but in 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 CC in CC in the playoffs, I don't I don't tilt. 
It's uh, fine, isn't it? It, it? You know, Blood Bowl's a broad church. We need all kinds of personalities, in it? Oh, he's coming. He's going. <laughs> and he's off. Oh, that stun is huge. Now he's just... He's out of it now. G, G. It was GG anyway, a turn ago, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> the mouse wasn't but... tilled. The mouse wasn't The mouse wasn't playing worse because uh, because of the the way things were going. The mouse was just my fucking mouse not working. Oh, that was amazing, <laughs> honestly. That was such a good clip. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so good. I mean, it's been broken for ages and everyone has told you to get a new mouse for so long. Exactly, yeah. So you wasn't... gave it an honourable death, Jim, honestly. <laughs> yeah. we, we could all... We all wish... To go out like that <laughs> beneath Jimmy's fist, fisted by Jimmy. That's how we want to go out. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> I'm violent fisting. <laughs> oh god! Oh dear. Uh, yeah, the the clip is on my Discord, which uh, which. Okay. You should already be a part of. Um, but in case you aren't, uh, there's the Discord. Oh god, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> there's the Discord, and there is the clip. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, because I, I only I only smashed it up because I had the new I had the new mouse already. Uh, I'd already I'd ordered the new mouse on Amazon Prime Scroll Do, so I was gonna get this. I was gonna get the new mouse before the next day, so I was losing nothing by smashing the shit out of that old piece of crap. Did Volvo send you a mouse? <laughs> no, no, he offered he offered to get me one. Um, but I didn't want one, and then Mr. Yemen down gave me money for one, so I was like, "Well, I've got to get one now." <laughs> <laughs> but like, I was happy with that one being quiet, even though it was shit. Just serving players now, dodging off mighty blue, random GFIs. I don't know what for. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Bit BM in it. Yeah. Toxic showboat of PC. Yeah. Just a touchdown dance to go now on it. <laughs> yeah. Will he do that? <laughs> Running to the middle hurts enough, doesn't it? If he runs to the middle of uh, beneath the post, that hurts enough, doesn't it? That hurts. <laughs> I always tend to do that when I can, yeah, I, that, that's my thing, I like to score in the middle, but uh, no reason. Oh, we've got an entry! Um... Oh, it's, it's okay, thanks, Skrull, dude. I'm not... I'm honestly not like... Would you recommend it to a friend? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a mouth. I don't know, it, it's... It's a mouse. You like it. you like your mouses like you like your coffee, hot and black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The respect turn sixteen foul. The the of wheel course. is like really, really uh wheelie. <laughs> no, no but look look how look how like it just goes woo like that. You could, there's not it's not very precise and you can lock it but then it like jerks and it's weird. And so I don't know about that. This thing is pretty twitchy, which I guess is good if you're doing like, you know, Total War and stuff. But it's no, kind of annoying just... when you're doing uh, paint. <laughs> he just ran in, there was Stop no BN. What is this? Boring PC. He'll leave the toxic showboating to to KFOG. <laughs> <laughs> he does enough for the both of them. Yeah. But we'll get a level on the MVP. I never stand for him, Ah. Yeah, probably a stun firm. So a lovely result there for PC. Um, no attrition to speak of. Amazing. You got to miss next game. Yeah, don't care. Like that. <laughs> That's not attrition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not compared to what it could have been. Yeah. Yeah, you got um, it slightly. 
Right, so there you go. Um, I don't Basically, know. Saturday, that's what it's going to be about, yeah. Let's let's skip to turn seven, your bell end. Yeah. <laughs> hey, PC, what, what's this turn seven about? <laughs> well. Congrats, PC. Yes, congrats. Yeah, not exactly deserved, was it? But there we are. You don't know what <laughs> um, oh. We want to ask you about this turn seven. Oh, it was shit. Yeah, so, your bell end. Do you want to start with that and then <laughs> we'll move on from there? I had two ideas. Really, I should have stayed where I was and not pushed forward because I knew I would uh, knock over that dodge piece. What I should have done was dodge out with the AG4 Blitzer and then stand the Slayer up and hit it with a tackle piece and re-roll it because I had the re-roll, but for some reason I didn't. And then I either should have gone one square in front of where I was, which was still surfable, but less surfable. Or should have stayed where I was and defended and tried to break through the next turn. But I did neither of those things and instead I picked a terrible square. And I think the reason he paused was just looking at how many different ways there were to completely <laughs> surf it and screw the position up. And the answer was loads, really loads. Well, when um, we saw you set up the line of dwarfs, we thought you were going to just score. Yeah, that was the other option. I should have done that too, because even with that nice rowdy piece, any kind of de decent kick, and he's very hard for him to score. Mm. Um, so I just did the worst of all possible options, <laughs> looking at three different plans. I picked none of them and did something terrible instead. Glorious. Uh, <laughs> and then it nearly all was all right, bar a two plus at the very end. Um, yeah. I can't I believe know. Zebra's like yeah. he spotted the surf and then he could have just picked it up with his move seven. Could have picked up the ball with the strength four and you had no chance of getting a two. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. But instead, he decided that he needed to mark the beard that was a four plus from the end zone. And I get why, but I didn't think that was particularly good. Um, no. And it then... was bloody horrible. That's why. <laughs> wasn't it? It was yeah. The fact that the fact that you you know you gave him. I, I did actually say that you'd probably kind of come into this chat following that abomination of a turn you. Played. Oh, it was awful. Wasn't it? And it was and shocking. just you know you 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 know and hold your hands up and say yeah, it was horrible. It was. Um, but I Steve completely was... fucked up. Yeah. Right? The drive was under control. It had all gone well. There hadn't been many dwarf removals. He was seemingly terrified of the dwarves for some reason. Yeah. So it was all fine. And then I just completely fucked it up. There we are. That's... <laughs> I could make it more complex than that, but those are the three plans I was considering, all of which would have been better, and none of which I did. Good analysis, PC. Thank you. <laughs> but if, if I have a strength as a coach, and I, you know, I've never claimed to be any bloody good, um, it's that I'm pretty good at forgiving myself. Yeah, so I liked what I tried turn eight to get out of it. Um, didn't work, but you know, I think I think that's something I can do. Is that I, I go, yeah, that was a complete fucking disaster. Right, let's let's try and do the next turn slightly better. <laughs> Following that though, you know, the second half it didn't start great with uh, instant removal nope. and a stun. So yep. straight away, you know, you're under the caution. I, I can remember saying to Jim and Muppet in the chat, well, you know, Seabrooks is in a really strong position here. Yeah. And then, and then once again, I, I we were. It was almost like we were waiting for um, Seabrooks to pull the trigger and yeah. really get in your face, and he yeah. just didn't, did he? Just no. didn't. No, I mean, I, I thought I threw some nice shapes, you know, voguing, um, <laughs> that were not that easy to get in the face of aggressively, and particularly in the first half, it looked a bit shy of doing that. So I thought, okay, well, let's see if that carries on. I'll try and be, you know, look scary. And um, <laughs> it sort of did. He hung back enough that suddenly he was under some time pressure. And then yeah. that turn where he break, broke through. I mean, I don't know if you can see all the plans he's trying. I mean, I can, obviously, all the ones he's looking yeah. at. Um, they were worse than my ideas turn seven the first time. <laughs> <laughs> of the places he was looking at putting it. You know, all I had to do was stand a guy up, and I had two guy on the ball. Yeah, we were so surprised um, when he GFI'd backwards with that noble warrior. Yeah, yeah and then that... <laughs> Wiz seemed obvious to do, and I'm lucky I had a fireball from the heavens. You know, what can yes, you say? Yes, it was a hell of a fireball, wasn't it? Yeah. I've always said, you know, sometimes I get lucky. That's That was one of those. There was a bit of debate as to whether you were going to use the wizard there. Um, Wolfbark actually yeah. pulled it. Um, but you still had at least a 1D on the ball if the yeah. wizard had fizzled and failed. Yeah, um, but there was a lot of go for it for that, and I hadn't been feeling particularly lucky with those. So I thought, let's try the whiz first. Yeah. Um, I thought, I've got a good, strong position if it fails. I can still do all sorts of horrible things to it. Or I can take out the, the ball carrier that wasn't carrying the ball uh, and you know make his advance really tricky. So I've got lots of options if the whiz fails. And I'd rather be hung for what I do than don't do. 
<laughs> and look, I'm a big fan of keep the whiz dry and, and, you know, go to overtime, either turning him over with the whiz or driving home with the whiz. That's a lovely tactic in overtime format. But against three claws, long term, you start losing. Yeah. yeah. As dwarves, you know, you, you need if to he wins try, the toss, try and get it done if you can. If he wins the toss, he gets more LOS hits. Much yeah, more absolutely. Hits. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it so, was, it was well, I mean, I just, a great opportunity. I just want to, to sorry, it. sorry, Jim. Oh, it's, uh, it was okay. I was just saying it was a great opportunity, Wiz, wasn't it? Because you're, you're not like elves and like you're not like wanting to bolt the guy and then get the ball. Like it is about like uh, the cumulative position, isn't it? And then like yeah, by, I mean, by knocking the ball over looked thing. like a good thing to do. But any, I figured any one, let alone two of those other of the four I hit going down was going to put me in a really strong position to break through and put all sorts of problems on him. And it, as I said, if it all failed, I still had the option of leaving that whole area alone and trying to monster the two that were breaking forwards. Um, so I just thought it was a really good position to try and, you know, put the screw on even more. Um, and sure enough, it just, you know, Nuffle said yes. That's, that's Blood Bowl. Yeah. I just want to thank you, PC, for playing a terrible turn seven. <laughs> it, gives hope, awful. it gives hope to the rest of us mere mortal Blood Bowl players. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, Cassian, I'm gonna, you know, anytime you've watched a stream of mine, I'm very open about it. I think every you game is usually yeah, a turn or two when you play a terrible turn. Yeah, you are. You've no. never professed to be perfect, but no, you, you know I you know I currently good. hold you as near to perfection in Blood Bowl as anyone playing this game. Because anyway, of my startling so. good looks, Calcium, you know that. <laughs> right. yeah. But it's you know, you, you cannot coach perfection. And people that look for that, I can think of one rage streamer in particular. <laughs> they're always gonna be disappointed and always find things to rage about. Uh, in the dice, in what they do, in their decisions, in what the opponent does. So who you're yeah, talking about, possibly basically. if I have a strength, it's people always say positioning. I think it's forgiving myself, which I've always said is also why I'm fat. Is because you know, I eat too much and then I forgive myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the things that I feel might have been able to do but with, without the ways, but it's just it's just increasing the position so much, isn't it? With so many targets for it, it's almost certainly going to hit at least one. It's got a good chance of two or. You know, yeah, because, like, and, and because of the ways you had the the, the whole line of dwarfs in the way of the ball. Yeah, it was, yep. it was amazing. The last yeah. thing that I want to talk about is following the whiz and, and the ball recovery. Um, you made a GFI. Now, was that to oh, deny? Uh, was that to with the ball carrier? Was that to yep. deny him um, ball recovery or to try and stop the hit on the ball? Uh, three reasons. Firstly, his claw pommer had a four plus three plus and I wanted to get somewhere that mucked that up and made it a five plus into a single dice okay. which the position I ended up in did secondly more likely than that he was going to come with his uh, agility fast beast man um, and the position I took up he had to do I mean it was always going to be fairly easy but he had to do a single dodge and two go for it and then hit at the extent of his movement which yeah. made ball recovery after the hit really unlikely yeah um, and it put it in a position where, where he had to hit from, it was likely to scatter towards my runner and other blitzer. Yeah. Uh, so that that was the sort of the chain of reasons why I felt I had to make both go for it there. If the first one had failed, I probably wouldn't have made the second. Uh, yeah. But I was always making two if possible. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's pretty much what exactly what I said. <laughs> like, did you say that was utter shit going for that GFI gym? I can't remember. I, I did it first, and then I, and then I looked <laughs> yeah. at it and I was like, oh yeah, it's it's so that he. Yeah, you did. You very quickly realised that it was. There, there, there were just lots of little reasons that added up to making it make complete sense. The only other thing was moving the runner before doing those GFIs. Yeah, I mean the problem is is that if those GFIs had worked, the runner was going an extra st step. Only one, but one extra step put him into a much stronger space. Yeah. But when they go. failed, he obviously wasn't. So that's why he moved next. Yeah, well, congratulations, Purple Chest. Thank you. I mean, it was a fun game, except fucking up turn seven. <laughs> which, you know, I... There you are. That, that's, that's no other reason than that. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You've got the result. You've got the win. Um, you know, you've never professed, as you say, to be perfect, um, and on you march, and... Yeah, Although it's... I face as near to perfect as Blood Bowl currently has next, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Which is core coaching uh, an agility six near Natty. Oh, fuck that toxic prick. Seriously, you're going to do him. Seriously. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I've got well, to put well, that's another down. day's problem. Let's go and stab some people. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to put my foot down. Congratulations, Purple Chess. <laughs> Thank you very much, Calcium. Thank you, Muppet. You're Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>